Hi and welcome back. Today I would like to teach you or show you how to map from a dictionary dictionary to a list of values. First of all, I would like to show you how, what is the definition of a dictionary. As in previous videos, we discussed about this. Uh, the first idea is to create a dictionary using vectors in R. That's why we define what is H. You can see what is H. H is a vector of numerical is a numerical vector. However, would we like would we like to define for each value what is the proper name? That's why I use the function names, and I'm just gonna associate each of these names to each value in the vector. This is how we define a dictionary in R. However, I would like to extract the information using the dictionary. That's why we're going to use what is the H for Mark? What is the H, the H for Mark and Pete? Okay, we extract each value using the key value. In this case, the keys are Pete and Mark. Okay, this that, that's the definition of a vector or a dictionary using vectors. However, the idea of mapping is having a long list of values or keys and associate a value with that. Check this. I'm going to define my list containing eight observations where Maryland, Maryland is repeat, car the same. And the idea of mapping is, okay, how I'm going to uh, extract the information for each for each name from my dictionary. The solution I want to share with you is this one. This is the pattern. We're going to match for my list the key values from my dictionary. Here, names H are the names of the names of uh, each person. And my list is going to try to find where is the position of each name in my list, car for example, where is the position of car in my keys, in my dictionary. Okay, car is in a position number two, so it match will return the number two. Next one is Maryland. What is the position of Maryland in my keys from my dictionary? Okay, Maryland is one, two, three, four, five, six, in the sixth position. Okay, and then the next one would be the same, six, six, joy. What is the position of joy? One, two, and three. So that means that using match will return the position of each value, in this case, the, the names of the person, from the dictionary. Okay, check this. Two, that means that car is in the second position in my dictionary. In my dictionary is keys. Okay, six, that means that Maryland is in the sixth position in my key, keys in the dictionary. And so on. And now, how to extract the values from that dictionary and using my list. That's why it's mapping. So now, if we run this code, we execute it, we extract for each name, or for, from each person in my list, the values contained in my dictionary. For example, here, car has 25 years, Maryland has, or Mary, Maryland is 44 years old, Maryland 44 years old, Joy 25 years old, and so on. That's the first solution for mapping using a dictionary in R. Second, using use, is, is using the hash function. I already create a video using the hash function to create dictionaries and this is like that. Using this uh, uh, library hash, we're going to create our dictionary. Check this. The values are my values and my keys. I then define what is going to be my keys. Check for example here. The example one, I use the function hash from the library hash. Then my keys are people's name. Okay, 
Louis, Carl, Joe, Mark, so on. My values are going to be age. However, I want to show you that this could be, for example, could be a string or also it can be numeric. Both work. Okay? So I'm going to follow in the same pattern that the example one. And then I define with this my dictionary. And that's all. That's my dictionary. Check my dictionary now. Joe. Joe is the key and 50 is the value. Joe's is the key and 25 is the value. As it say, key value pairs. Okay? We have eight definitions in our dictionary. To extract some information, we could use this this way. I use for car and for Mary are my keys, and I'm going to extract the values. It, here it is. Two key value pair, 25 and 44. However, as the, in the first example, using vectors, I would like to create multiple values or to extract or mapping multiple values. The solution is like this. For example, I have car, marry, 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 Joe's car, 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 and Joe. A long list of values. Values of keys, of course. In this case, it, these are my keys, but I would like to extract all the values from my dictionary, my previous definition. Okay. And check this. What is the values in my in my dictionary? Okay. Joy 50. Joe's 25, car 25, so on. And keys are Joe, Joe's, Carl, Louis, Mark, Mary, Pete, Tile. This is what I want to use for extracting or for obtaining the values for my list. And this is the second solution. My dictionary is example one, and my keys are going to be my new list, the list I want to extract the information. Of course, those values in my new list have to be in my dictionary's keys. Okay? And then, we we run this, uh, sorry, I have something here, Maryland. That's okay. It's here. Okay, can you see now we have car 25 because it's looking for car in my new list. In the dictionary definition, it says, like, okay, car has tw is 25 years. Mary, and check Mary. Mary, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, it's 44. Yeah, and so on. It's repeating Mary in my new list. But that's okay because this is my list, it's not my dictionary. And it's, it's looking or searching each value for my keys. In this case, people's name. That's the second solution using the hash function from the hash uh, library or the hash package. That's the second solution. So I showed you two solutions for mapping dictionaries in R.